his eyes like he was looking to strive from his emotions. His hinted up emotions cutting wind of the erosion from the drama his house holding. He was holding, he was hurting the side. Real what up, guys? Super Mazaku here today to give you guys a Dragon Ball Super episode 90 review. Now, I'm gonna be doing the review for 90, and I'm gonna be doing, unfortunately, a rant. For 91 prediction, which is also coming today. Make sure you guys stay tuned to my channel for the rest of the day. If you guys do watch The Flash, if you don't, dog, you better catch up on that. Because that's amazing, crazy. Going to review that tonight as well. And Burrito in the morning. And then I got to go to the gym Wednesday and Thursday. So, I don't know. I got to, I need to drop a top 10 video. I'm going to drop a top 10 video for you guys this week. Promise. Um, but before I get into um, the review, as you guys all know, you know, uh, February 17th, uh, it was an incident where I got stabbed in both my lung and, uh, my head got cut open. And, you guys know I'm doing music now. Oh, man, my stomach feels bad. I feel like I'm about to throw up. Holy shit. And, basically, you know, sitting, laying in the hospital bed, all those emotions and everything that ran through of what happened that day exactly. The remaining ones I had, I channeled it into a song, which is, uh, the link in the description. So make sure you guys listen to that, like it, share, repost it on your SoundCloud if you have a SoundCloud. But the music is free. I'm also dropping mixtape, you know, um, you know what I mean? I got a song called Itachi in my mixtape as well, but, you know, I can't get that to the tape drop. It dropped July 25th. But the third single, I'm dropping four singles. The third single titled February 17th is basically me explaining everything that did uh, occur that day in a summarized, you know, standpoint. As you guys know, do know, I did give you guys a whole, like, 420 minute story. But this is all of it. Endorse it to a song. Um, I put a lot of effort into it, and it took uh, it really took a lot out of me to really, you know, correlate this song because I had to revision everything that had, had happened that day, and that's not always the easiest thing to do. So make sure you guys check that out. Now, rating got this, uh, this episode 9.5 out of 10. Loved this episode. First off, my nigga 10. <laughs> I can't call him my nigga no more after this, dog. Nah, I'm sorry, dog. I, I used to fuck with you. I ain't gonna say I fuck with you now, but I used to fuck. I understand it's Ultimate Gohan. But this nigga was a one-hitter quitter. He got his ass whooped as soon as the fight began. As soon as the fight began. Like, damn, nigga, you can't... can't you can't, like, you know I mean? Can't get, like, you know, two hits in on Can't do nothing, nigga? Huh, nigga? You can't do nothing, nigga? <laughs> Don't you, don't you, man. Yo, Wula, baby. We said, baby, don't forget the baby. <laughs> I'm a fool, dog. Yo, this nigga is a bitch. Teen is a bitch, dog. These niggas try to have a fucking tag team title match, right? And Teen, he, he, it's like it's like a fucking Piccolo is Finley and Teen is Hornswoggle. Teen gets one shot at by, mind you, go how was not first off. That's good Gohan to clap. Gohan was not playing. Yo, Gohan was dead ass, bro. This nigga looked like he was about to kill niggas. He's like, no, nah, nigga, like, the f fuck, fuck all that, nigga. My nigga, was, he wasn't playing. He wasn't playing. As soon as the battle started, uh, first off, you know, Gohan finished his training to pick up in like a few hours or something. I don't know. I mean, I feel like these niggas finished his shit a little too quick. If y'all would have hopped in the hop about the time chamber, all this shit would have been excused. But it's like, this nigga don't finish training in half an hour, though. He got all his sisters back in 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, what up? So he goes to Goku, you know, Piccolo tells him to go to Goku to fight him. And basically, the reason why they do tag team match, first I was confused, but I did not have to realize it's a battle royal, so they would have to rely on teamwork to actually, you know, get through this battle royal. It's not it's all about strength, it's also about strategy and teamwork as well. So, it makes sense. They got a little, uh, I guess Goku made like a big ass rock, a platform to fight on. Gohan makes zero effort in destroying that. Oh, it, he always destroys it right away. He's not even destroying it with blasts. He's destroying this shit with punches. He fucking punch that shit was gone. I mean, that's easy for Gohan. Gohan can fucking punch a hole through the planet if he wants to, but they got containing power not to kill everybody else. But man, the battle between Gohan and Goku was good, but the battle between Gohan and TM was fucking <laughs> That shit was like, ooh! That nigga was like this the whole like the whole episode after that. Like <laughs> I could have sworn even after he took the sizzle beam, he was still like, that shit still hurt a little bit. Like 
<laughs> Yo, and Piccolo ain't really do shit. All he did was charge up for an explosive wave, and that's it. And then then the TN was like, all right, yo, we gotta stop. Like, yo, like, yo, I'm fucked up, I'm leaking. We gotta stop, no more fighting. This nigga, he's being a bitch. And Master Roshi, he could barely, well, he Master couldn't keep up with the speed that Goku and Gohan was going at. Gohan, um, I was impressed with him fighting Goku very professionally in his regular form. And you guys don't see the difference between Ultimate Gohan and Regular Gohan. Regular Gohan just got the regular head on like me. Ultimate Gohan got that, got that shit going on down there, so. Yeah, and Goku, uh, I like how uh, Goku asked Gohan, why didn't you go Super Saiyan? Gohan basically said, I want to be like a complete me. I would not use your methods to get basically gain more power. So Goku relies on Super Saiyan, and he's been relying on it a lot and a little too much. Gohan, I mean, after just already explaining to Goku, maybe Goku wasn't there when the whole Ultimate or Mr. Gohan was explaining to Dragon Ball Z, but even if he was, and he's stupid as shit, he probably doesn't remember. So, I don't know. Imagine Goku with the, with the Ultimate State. That should have been. Probably even crazy what the hell we get now. And without wasting no energy at all. But since he has the God form, it's like, I mean, I'm God now. So it don't fucking matter what kind of energy I waste. I get that shit right back. Like, I'm, I'm a God. He's a God. Just like we did. So, after, you know, Tien breaks up the fight because Tien is the only one getting his ass handed to him. Goku and Gohan didn't have their own separate fight. And man, this shit is amazing. We got to see Kamehameha versus Kamehameha. I feel like I was watching Team Gohan fight when he did the Kamehameha. Goku was like, use your four power, Gohan. I was like, mm. I was like, yo, this is so fucking nostalgic, man. I didn't think I'd be able to see this fight during the Dragon Ball Super Series. But I don't give a fuck how it happened. I'm just happy that it actually did. Because this thing, the, the fight, the fight in itself was 10 out of 10. And, um, amazing. We had... Goku encouraged Gohan to go full out. Gohan then uses four mystic form for power. I, I believe, excuse me, I believe this Gohan is prime Gohan as we look at him now because they are way over impressed with his strength that he has now. So this Gohan that we see now is Gohan at his strongest regardless. So I'm happy that we get to finally see it. Gohan's true potential. He is a fucking warrior and he's not cocky and he's not bitch and he's just like, I'm here to fuck shit up. Who, who try and mix? This is the Gohan that we've been waiting to see for even longer than I was. Through. That's no, 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 no. That's been over for 18 years, Dragon Ball Z. So even older than me. Even I'm, 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 I'm almost 20 and shit. But it's like, yo, this is the Gohan that we deserve. This is the Gohan that we wanted. This is the Gohan we've been waiting for. This is the Gohan that we needed, and we finally have him at the right place and at the right time. So after Gohan goes full power, he noticed because Goku's in Super Saiyan 2 fighting him, like, ah, whatever, smack, what's up, nigga, oh, what, what, that's how it's going, this shit. Gohan then encourages Goku to go his full power, which is very smart because the opponents Gohan would need to be facing in the tournament will have similar powers to that, so he'll need to at least have some kind of experience. Goku then goes Super Saiyan Blue, Gohan still gets at least some nice two punches, like, ah, ah, pussy, pussy. Goku then goes up, Kaiju Ken times 10. For nothing at all, of course, it's just fucking Goku. And then him and Gohan still go at it a little bit, and then they have like this um this one clash was going to determine who's winning. It's like a sword fight when you pause, not like that sword fight. A fight with swords, you know, blades and shit. One of the is like two samurai, and they do the zoom, and then one of them falls, and another one wins. They basically did something similar to that, only with their right hands. And of course, Gohan got his ass whooped. Um, not a shocker there, but the fight. The fight was amazing. The action was amazing. Even the dialogue was amazing. Amazing seeing father versus son. I felt like this is. I like this Gohan right now better than the Teen Gohan. So I mean, this whole series wasn't able to to ever do that, and now it finally has. So we get some great character development from Gohan himself as a full fledged adult. This is the true adult Gohan. This is the most completed Gohan that we're ever gonna get. So appreciate him while you're still here. Shit was amazing, and then Goku, of course, pussy, knocked his ass out, and then, you know, called him, you know, mid-fall, like, yeah, young boy, you did good, my son and shit, and then you're the captain, so now Goku's doing the thing where he pins everything on Gohan again, but hey, the last time Goku did it, the world was saved, and maybe this time when Goku does it, the universe shall be saved, and I believe with this, after showing Trunks in the last arc, having a, um, a some god Kai for some strange reason, I guess. I don't know. I think they're going to do the same thing with Gohan here. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing it. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, this episode was a 9 for 5 out of 10. That fight was freaking amazing. We got two different fights. Tina's a bitch and it was funny. So I ain't gonna give no damn points for that. Pickle this thing. It's the first time we've seen an um, explosive wave since Tenkaiji 3. The freaking game. So it's like... <coughs> I mean, I told Goku tanked that shit anyway. But it was still like... I mean, everybody doing their thing. Everybody doing their thing. <coughs> and we get small glimpses of Vegeta like, yeah, them niggas fighting and shit. So that was pretty cool for me. That's basically another episode. Um, <laughs> yo, man. This tournament power. But then I, oh, yeah. Oh, first off, I, I got to get on this thing. I'm going to just call him the elephant god. This nigga is dumb as shit, yo. This nigga is fucking, he's fucking retarded, yo. He's dumb as shit. I, this, this, I'm, ha I'm happy that Zamasu killed him. Real shit, I'm fucking happy that Zamasu killed his ass. Like, here's the thing. I already don't take the universe 10 guys serious. Because it's like, yo, you died, dickhead. Like, I'm not taking it to be serious. Like, fuck, boy. Fuck him, you died. Fuck, you don't fucking take him serious after that? Fuck, boy. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. Y'all should say fucking too. Fuck boy, right? Yeah, fucking. So, this nigga died and shit. Now he back making orders and shit saying, you think too much with your head. Mm, you think with your mind too much. You, you're not doing it to your mind. You, if you would've used your fucking mind, maybe you would've been alive the first time, dickhead. So, and this nigga get these fucking steroid ass niggas and they drinking protein shakes. I hope they fucking lose. Um, I hope they fucking lose. But that's basically my fix. Super Mazaku, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, and um, very important. Um, I made a song about the incident that happened to me two years ago. I really appreciate it, you guys. Go in that link in the description. It's the first link you'll see. Trust me, SoundCloud. Free music. Free mixtape is going to drop as well. But make sure you guys listen to that. This is my third single out of the fourth one. So make sure this is a very important song. It came from my heart, and it took a lot to really... Put this stuff in the lyrics and I had to really envision myself in the situation again, which is something I really do not like to do. But, you know, I did it for you guys. So please, you know, appreciate it. Share it, repost it, do anything. Just give it a listen. I appreciate it. Super Mazaku. Love you guys with all my heart, man. Get ready for this rent video after this shit. <laughs> I'm out.